Hi, my name is Madison. I am in fifth grade and go to Seuss Creek. This is my first science fair project. I'm going to perform an experiment on balloon hovercraft. I found instructions on the web on how to build balloon hovercraft. So I decided to do my science fair project on a topic related to balloon hovercraft. After thinking about it, I thought it would be interesting to try different sizes of balloons, different types of air, and different weights of CDs to see how they would affect the behavior of my balloon hovercraft. These will be my variables for my experiment. The two things I think I can measure for my experiment are A, how long it hovers above the surface, and B, how high it can raise from the surface. However, looking at the online videos of the hovercraft, I decided that it would be difficult to measure the height of the hovercraft since it looks like it barely floats above the surface. These are the hypotheses for the variables of my experiment. For balloon size, I'm going to use a 9 inch and a 12 inch. I think the 12 inch balloon will float longer because it's like a car with more gas in its tank. For CD weights, I'm going to use a light and heavy CD. I think the light CD will not float as long because it will create a slightly larger gap between the surface, allowing air to escape faster. For air height, I'm going to use oxygen and helium. I think the oxygen balloon will empty its air faster. It will probably be like heavier water draining out of a hole. The weight of the water will push through the hole. This is my test surface. As you can see, it's a black piece of cardboard, and I'm using a white piece of cardboard. These are the hovercrafts I made for my experiment. As you can see, they're made of CDs, hot glue, and a water bottle cap. This is my heavy CD, and this is my light CD. During my experiment, I'm going to see how long the balloon hovercraft floats around the surface until it stops. Measurement number one for the 9-inch balloon. One, two, three, go. This is measurement number one with the light TD with using a 9-inch balloon and oxygen. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. This is the first measurement for the helium balloon I'm using a 9 inch balloon and a heavy CD. 1, 2, 3, go. In conclusion, I observed that the 12 inch balloon floated longer than the 9 inch balloon and that supported my hypothesis. I also observed that the heavy CD floated longer than the light CD, and that supported my hypothesis. And finally, I observed that the helium balloon didn't float nearly as long as the oxygen balloon did, and that supported my hypothesis.